MMA fans around the world salivating at the prospects of what they're about to see. And that includes me. Both of them like bulls waiting to come out of their pens and here we go. Wasting little time in engaging. Look at Noguera coming. Yes, you want to close the distance, and you see he's very close to him, but no. Takes Shogun, Shogun gets the takedown. Into the open half guard of Noguera. Noguera, of course, very busy, an active guard on the bottom. His armbar looks almost, oh no, now it's a takedown defense there. Whoa, look at that. Nice, nice. escape. Nice right hand. And uh, Shogun mentioned that he wanted to utilize more of his Muay Thai techniques. And that was a devastating right as well. Yep. And it has begun. The kicks are involved. Nice inside leg kick delivered by Shogun. Again, Noguera very aware of Shogun's deadly knee strikes, but he thinks he's more than prepared to deal with them. You mentioned it, Bob. Nice takedown. Yep. You mentioned that they brought in Anderson Silva, the Nogueras and Brazilian top team to work with Nogueira, but right now, it is Shogun in the close guard. Oh. Very nice. Dropping elbow there to the midsection. That is good, especially later into the fight when the opponent gets tired and then surprise him with it. At the moment when he's breathing in, that will do the trick. Or Shogun wants to create that distance and doing a good job of really just posturing and dropping that elbow. Noguera now striking from the bottom, trying to neutralize the wrists of Shogun. Your thoughts of the early going, and you'll hear the referee there, boss, and the fans at home yelling for action. Yep, you know what? It's difficult to say right now. Mauricio had two takedowns. I would say Mauricio. None of them is actually stalling. They're both fighting. Oh, here we go for a submission attempt. Mauricio just stands up. Oh, hey. There's a nice block of the jumping stomp kick by Shogun. There's a nice kick to the calf area. Matrix style. Well done. And again. <laughs> and that, of course, will always bring a reaction out of the crowd. Yeah, they don't love that stuff. And I'm one of them. Creativity. Always entertaining when you see members of Brazilian top team and shooter box in action and of course lots of things at stake here. Not only a spot in the final four, final conflict, and they're gonna be brought back up to their feet here, boss, but dragging rights for Brazil. And again, just a, an awesome oh! Capitalize on the mistake that Shogun made. Whoa! Now we know that the shoot box guys, they're always recouped. Unbelievable. And now he drops him back there with the left hook. But it looks like he is still staggering oh. on his feet. Nogueira comes back with a knee, but Shogun goes for the takedown. And I think that was a desperate move on his part, boss, to try to give himself a respite and a break that he desperately needs. Very smart. Now that is using the head. That is using the head. Take him down and take an extra little rest there, an extra little break. He's going for a reverse figure now four here. Now he's looking for the Kimura from the bottom. Here's Noguera trying to get the end. Look at this. Nice yep. maneuvering. Look at maybe for the armbar. Reverse armbar from the bottom. Yep. Yep. Good escape here from Mauricio. And trying to put some knees to the head as well and some great maneuvering. And the fans respond in kind. We've got one heck of a fight here in the first quarter final matchup. And you could see the swelling and the discoloring under the left eye of Shogun where he was rocked early on by Noguera. You know what, Rogerio told us before, he wasn't afraid of his strikes because he trained very hard on his striking, and uh, wow, it shows. And of course he works diligently with his twin brother who has worked in the past with the Cuban national boxing team, and the Cubans of course have dominated the Olympics in the past in boxing, so they definitely have the boxing skills as well, and now they remain in the stand-up oh. box, and it's Shogun now that's Rock Noguera. Yep, he connected there with that left uppercut, a short uppercut, Noguera, and let me see, no. Shogun has the takedown, ended up in his guard. 
Are you surprised, Boss, right now at this stage that it's Shogun that's been able to get the takedowns on Nogueira, and yet Nogueira has been able to withstand the stand-up? And maybe actually they're kind of even in the stand-up, but it's Nogueira with the takedowns. You know what? In the first fight, I already said the same thing. It's exactly the other way yes. around than that I said. I thought Mauricio will, will, will be better on his feet and the other way around. But, but this is the beauty of mixed martial arts, boss, yep. and why it is the fastest rising sport in the world. Anything can and usually does happen. And between Antonio Rogerio Noguera and Mauricio Shogun, you could not ask for more in the first round. Another elbow, and it's been interesting that he continues to resort to that tactic, trying to drive the air out of the lungs of Nogeri, Rogerio Noguera. Oh, that and was a good right hand. That's the second time he's done that, and a third one. Rogerio is holding his hand now, but... No Looking on with vested interest is Vanderlei Silva, Shogun's teammate, but boy, oh boy, you can see the effects of this first round war on the face of Shogun. Oh, and he's tapped again by the left hand. Yep. Who's going to get the takedown now? Now, Rogerio needs to be on top if he's going to get the takedown. Yes, now he can capitalize on that punch that he just gave to Shogun. And it's interesting that usually in the clinch, which is a trademark of the shoot box camp, they usually get the better hand and better advantage. But it was Noguera taking down Shogun, which I think, boss, is a byproduct of that shot he took. And Knee here comes coming. some knees to the head. Yep, I was just, I wanted to say, and the anaconda almost, it looks like. Nice Look escape, beautiful <laughs> sweep. <laughs> by Shogun, and listen to these fans at the Saitama Super Arena. What an opening. What a fight. First fight, unbelievable. This fight is, woo. And a nice up kick delivered by Noguera. You can see he's probably setting up either a stomp kick or that kick to the head. Oh, they stopped the time. Something's wrong with his glove. Rogerio attacks and connects, actually dropping Mauricio. Now, not really, of course, be he, because he recouped and then had to take down. But uh, it shows that Shogun really has to watch out here. Shogun tried to go into the body. And it looks like Shogun really missing with the combinations now. Is he, is, is, are you seeing any desperation on the part of Shogun, even though it's early yes. in, the, in the fight, in the first round? Yes. What I do, but it looks to me, and it look, uh, just saying it looks, he's too flat on his feet. He doesn't oh, move, he look, you see? Yep. No, and he's, yep, this is not good. He's, he doesn't flow like he normally does. Is it a case, boss, where Look at the knees. there's a tie clinch? Yes, he's taking a page out of Shogun's book. And like That's you say, boss, I mean. it's a reversal of fortunes, really. Yeah. And I wonder, is it is it youthful exuberance on the part? Nice takedown there by Shogun on the part of uh, Hua, boss. At the age of 23, there's there's so much hype surrounding him as the next Vanderlei Silva. And of course, with so much at stake, is it a case where maybe after the first round that he just has to settle things down? Is that what Hujamar Rodrigo is going to try to do in his corner? Yeah, I, I you know what? Those shoot box guys, but it's also with the, the Brazilian top team. Those guys, they recoup nice. every fast. They got good corners. They tell them exactly what to do. So let's just see if he can make it past this fight. But it also Round. already looks like Shogun's going for that grand slam where it looks like Rogerio's more calm, cool, and collected, showcasing his experience. And it looks like Shogun's going for that real dramatic finish instead of being more methodical. Pacing himself, yeah. You know what? But with that said, Rogerio is probably pacing himself here because Shogun is wasting a lot of energy. Now he has a lot of energy, as I said, with the entrance. It seems almost endless, but you know, a lot of pressure will do Another a lot. great right hand. And again, of course, the, what the judges look for in pride, as they look like he's setting them up there, perhaps for a triangle or an arm bar. But again, you you know, when you're fighting a guy from shootbox, and with all the perspiration, nice knee to the head. Now we're starting. We're into the final 60 seconds of what has been a very exciting opening round. Whoa, and another knee. And that'll add up in terms of damage. It's okay. going back and forward. And of course, what the judges look for here in Pride when judging the entire fight, effort to finish the fight by knockout or submission, damage to your opponent. 
striking combinations and ground control, takedown and defense, and of course aggressiveness. And there you see Vanderlei Silva applauding the efforts of his young teammate, Mauricio Shogun. He's inside control here, boss, but not really doing much. No, he has to start uh, uh, throwing knees to the body, to the legs, to the head. He has to work, otherwise the referee will come in and break them up. We remember at Bushido 2 where we saw Shogun go nine minutes against Akihiro Gono at full power. Boss, we're now into the tenth minute of this fight, and I don't want to say he's Tiring. Well, he is tiring, but he is. What, is this conditioning? What, what, no, what no, do you no. attribute this to? Is it the pressure, the, the, the stress of being in a, uh, such a high fight? Nice kick there at the end of the match. If the second round is anything like the first, it is going to be a battle. See if Shogun tries to establish his territory. Now he goes in body lock, but it's Ogerio. Oh, nice balance there by Shogun to quickly go into half guard. Yep, he shifted his weight to the left and then, yep, prevented him from rolling over. You see, with his left foot, not anymore. He was trying already to uh, pull his right leg out now because he wants to go to side control. I'm sure that he wants to continue those knees that he was doing in the first round. Yep, and I can't... Uh, understand Brazilian, but they say uh, passe, yeah, that means pass, pass the, the half guard. <laughs> and he has to do more to prove the position here, and he's back on his feet. And will he be up now? He's going back to that diving right hand. He's hit with a right from the bottom. Let's see if he's going to let him stand up again. And he's breathing heavy. I mean, he, it looks like he gained some weight here. Mauricio did. You see, he's got bigger shoulders. He has bigger shoulders than the last time. Oh, there he came in with good ones. Nice uppercut. <laughs> you know, in the past, they say that the one weakness the Shogun has shown is that he can be wild at times and show little regard for what the opponent brings to the fight now. We've seen as he's tagged with that straight left. Yep. And he's been a little wild in this fight, boss. Trying to go for the tie clinch. And who's going to throw the knee now? And again, Shogun is going for the takedown. And that, of course, does add up on the judge's scorecard. But what does he do with the takedown is what really matters. And there we go again. Looking he's for trying... the arm bar. Yeah, but it's not going to work. Perspiration, sweat all over the body is going to become more and more difficult as this battle unfolds. You know that Rogerio's confident there, and he blocks the kick again. That's twice now. And he's maybe saying that, being telegraphed, the referee doing a good job here now, bringing it back to its feet. Hey, boss, who do you think, at this stage, does a stand-up benefit? Shogun or Rogerio? I think Rogerio, believe it or not. And to tell you the truth, it looks like Mauricio now gets a little bit in a better shape. He's getting his second win because I've never saw him like this. I never saw him breathing with his mouth open. He's always like going and going, but now we now, see. They're just <laughs> swinging wildly, and again, the more you swing like that and do not connect, you're just expending energy, and it's not paying any dividends, and again, he just twists him to the canvas where we have really not seen Shogun be able to do much. We've seen Nogueira try for the Kimura, try for a reverse armbar, but Shogun hasn't really done much to try to improve his position or goal for a knockout or a submission on the ground boss. No, not yet, although he and passed there is now. And he's Nogueira going to again try. going for the Kimura. Yep. But you see, it's the third attempt. No, third he's not going to get it. No, but you're right, because the takedown, the submission defense by Shogun is awesome. I mean, this is an incredible MMA battle, and we talked about this perhaps being an MMA masterpiece. And fans at home and here at the Saitama Super Arena, this is only the first quarterfinal matchup. And what a hard act to follow between Shogun and Minotauro.
Triangle attempt here, but you see right away Mauricio is sticking his head up. So it's going to be very difficult for Rogerio to close his legs, to but, put his foot behind the knee. And what an experienced veteran Rogerio is. Seeing that it isn't going to pay dividends, loses it right away. I'm not going to expend any more net energy than I need to. Yep, and now we're in that same situation, but Rogerio oh, thinks, he's hey. Trying to get his back there. Yeah, very good that he adjusted himself and went back there to the mount, or half guard actually, because Rogerio almost escaped that position. So very good thinking here by Mauricio. Both fighters are doing really good in this fight. In talking to Rogerio as, he, as uh, Shogun jumps back into the open guard, Rogerio thought that who was able to concentrate more during this fight will prevail. And he's one of those people who totally espouses the theory that, you know, fighting really is more a mental game than anything else. Well, and I uh, share that with him. It's all in the head. Everything is right up there. Okay, five more seconds. Whoa, this one is a difficult one to call. Or it has to be settled in the third round. Otherwise, it's going to be a difficult one if it's going to go to the judges. And you can see the effects on each of the fighters' faces. They are definitely showing what it is to be a world-class fighter in a world-class tournament, the 2005 Pride middleweight tourney. You know, believe it or not, I think that actually the Brazilian top team told Rogerio, okay, keep it on your feet. And maybe the Shootbox Academy said, take it to the ground. It's a different okay. world now. All right, let's see what happens. Now, that was the first knee there. Coming from Shogun. And again, you see his balance, the way he shifts his weight. Rogerio pulled guard there. Yep, Maybe trying couldn't to do a leg anything. lock. No, there's nothing. He's going to pull it out. Oh, and that was that kick to, again. Yep. <laughs> We've seen this position before. Referee calls for action. And again, you'll hear the referees throughout the, tonight. There's another attempt, but uh, against Shogun, unless you're pretty certain. You're gonna come up empty. Majority of the time, and there's that elbow again. He should uh, use more of those elbows, especially with the forearm, they have more effect. They will really drive the wind out of your lungs. Again, an attempt, but I would stop it. I would really see if I could go back on my feet because Rogerio was doing actually really good on his feet. Okay, is this the case now? We got a timeout by the referee. Do you think now and Again, just asking uh, your opinion, boss. Is Shogun, what we've seen thus far in the third round, is he fighting to go the distance and just hope for the best with the judges? It doesn't look like on the ground he's very aggressive. And I know fatigue is playing a factor, but again, this is for a chance at the final four, at final conflict. And now he's getting rocked again by Noguera. We've seen this actually with Vanderlei Silva's teammate against Oshida in the first round. Yep. As the fight progressed, he was fighting for the look judges, at this. going to the judges. But Noguera is hitting him. And, and hitting him. And Noguera's bleeding now, but oh. Noguera's getting the better of these exchanges. And another! Oh! oh. And Shogun just like that, turning the tables. Oh my goodness. Just when you think one is going to lose, that person takes over. Unbelievable turn of events here. And Noguera was caught by Shogun, summoning up that spirit. And there you see the replay, boss. Wow, oh. beautiful left. My goodness. Shogun should step, stand up right away. If they say fight, the guard is open, just stand up. It's probably what his corner is going to say, yes. Let him get up. That would be a great strategy. Now, of course, he'll try to exploit that cut as well. Now you can see Noguera, he just wants to try to, yeah, bring him in tight, boss. Doesn't want that distance. Nice left hand by Shogun. Tried to go for that elbow again, but right away Hogerio pushes him away. Another right dropping hand, but didn't connect. 
He really needs to pass. He really needs to go to the side. And again, there we have the Looking chicken for the ring. Kimura and maybe an arm bar by Nogueira, but nothing doing. And Shogun now, and the referee will bring Nogueira back to his feet. Now, let's see what happens. They each have scored damage points in the stand-up. We got two minutes left in the last round. And there, the Shogun connects again. And the takedown. Two minutes remaining. And you'll see the action pick up, or you should. He should start working real hard just to make sure that he got it in the back because this, this one is going to be very difficult very, for the judges. Very close fight between Shogun and Minotoro. They're undefeated records on the line, but more importantly, a spot in the finals of the 2005 Pride Fighting Middleweight Tournament in August. Up kick by Nogueira. Whoa. One minute, oh. 15 seconds. And you see the swelling on the left eye of Shogun. Oh, nice and punch still there from Nogueira. Has some fists remaining is in, in his arsenal. And Nogueira comes back. Tie clinch and a knee by Nogueira. There's a left. The last 60 seconds. And you can expect them now to begin unloading Boss. There's a you right see, Rogerio is pressing the fight now. He's also the one who tr throws more knees. Also a thing that we didn't expect. He's probably gonna go for another takedown now. No, which is gonna be very difficult. Oh yes, he does have an underhook, but no. This time, he didn't get it. And now Rogerio- Side control. Yep. But Will we... he get his back here? Less than a minute remaining. There's a kick by Nogueira. And now it's Shogun. Time is the biggest enemy now. It has been a titanic struggle between Shogun and Minotoro. They have given it every ounce of their talent and fighting spirit. And we are going to the scorecards, but the fans applaud what has been a very memorable contest here in Pride Fighting Championships. Boss Rudin, really, could we have asked for anything more from Mauricio Shogun and Antonio Rogerio Noguera? You can see Vanderly Silva applauding the efforts. An awesome battle between two tremendous athletes. Yes, very, very good. It's going to be, you know, if you would ask me who is going to win, yeah, I will answer you. I said it before now. I do not want to comment on that one. Look at this war of attrition, boss. Let's revisit the action. Take a look here and describe what you see, Mr. Rutan. Ooh, there I saw a big left hand from Ogerio connecting. But you know what? Mauricio had all oh. the takedowns, and that punch was also a punch that put Ogerio on the mat. They each scored knockdowns. It's over. And over, I really can't tell who won this fight. It's it's interesting when you look at what the judges look for and you break it down, the effort to finish the fight by knockouts or submission. Both of them did that. By knockout a bit, but the submissions, maybe no gear, but again, it's not up to us. Let us await with bated breath the oh, official oh, decision oh, of the first quarterfinal bout Dan here Rossi. at the 2005 Jeez. middleweight Woo! tournament. Just the end. Mauricio Shogun records the unanimous decision, and the youngest competitor in the tournament is on his way to the 